Good morning, second grade. It's a new week that means a new read aloud. This week's read aloud is called May Day Around the World. So if you have your book with you, um, get them out. It is on page 136. I'm gonna give you a few moments to grab your book um, so you can read with me. Okay, so May Day Around the World by Tori Telfer. So I see that on this cover, we have a lot of different pictures here. And it says this, the title is Around May Day Around the World. So to me, this kind of looks like the world, like the globe. It's kind of like a circle. So I see different pictures like a fire. I see a palm tree. What do y'all think this is right here? It's a basket, but what kind of holiday does that remind you of? Hmm. Okay. So we're gonna keep going. Page 365. So Uppsala, Sweden. Gustav has never been up this late. He watches his father throw another piece of old furniture on the bonfire. Tonight they are celebrating Wal Walpurgis Eve, the last day before spring. Gustav's neighbors sing soft songs around the fire. His mother brings him a green blanket and a bowl of nettle soup. Spring is coming in the morning, she whispers. Gustav curls up on the blanket and feels the lovely warmth of the fire. So this is where, what they're doing in Sweden the night before spring. Okay. So Austin, Texas, USA. Ooh, so Austin, Texas, that's close to San Antonio. And... Maria and Carlos put a May Day basket on Miss, Miss Garcia's doorstep. The basket is filled with purple violets and a chocolate bar. Maria rings a doorbell and they run behind a big oak tree. Creak, the door is opening. Maria peeks out from behind the trunk. Happy May Day, Miss Garcia. So, ooh, that was in the picture in the cover, that little basket there. And so was a fire. Okay. Paris, France. Adele races through the park with a coin clutched in her hand. May Day is her favorite time of the year. Everyone is wearing bright colors and the birds are just starting to sing. One lily of the valley, si la voy fly. I don't know how to speak French. She says to the man selling flowers. Adele runs back to her grandfather and puts the flower in the buttonhole. Joy primer, my papi. She says, happy May Day, Grandpa. I don't know what she's saying. I don't know if y'all do. So now we're on the next page. Ooh, I love, this is Hawaii. I love Hawaii. So Wailea, Hawaii, USA. Allah helps her Aunt Malia get ready for the Lay Day Parade. Her aunt has been crowned Lay Queen. So a Lay is that necklace that she has around her neck. It's full of flowers. How do I look? Asks her aunt. You forgot something, says Allah. She slips a long, delicate Lay of Ili, Ilima blossoms over her aunt's head. The lay smells sweet and fresh, just like springtime. Now you forgot something, says her Aunt Malia. Giving a lay means you get a kiss. Okay, now we're in England. Oh, that's from the cover here. Annabelle and Edward are dancing around the maypole. They've been practicing for weeks. Oh, okay, so that's a maypole. If they get the steps just right, the ribbons will wind around the pole in a beautiful crisscross pattern. Annabelle wears her new white dress and yellow ribbon in her hair, the color of the first spring daisies. Edward is dressed as a green man, full of mischief. Oh no, Edward's dog, Sammy, is running toward the maypole. He wants to dance too. Watch out, Edward. in the end. So good job guys. Um, good job sending out those words and reading with me following along with your finger.
and get ready to answer questions for Monday's reading assignments. Have a nice day.